overall in the country we have close to six to something thousand bed nets that we will be distributing. And the regions that we have targeted is really regions one, seven, eight, and nine. And that's because malaria remains endemic in these regions. And we have taken on a different task. And that task is not just to uh, treat people with malaria. In the past, our approach to malaria would have been that malaria is inevitable in these regions. And therefore, people at some point would come to us, we diagnose it, we treat it, and that's the end of that. And next year, you get reinfected, you come back, we do the same. What we are aiming to do is a little bit different. We have set ourselves a target that before 2030, that we would be able to effectively eliminate malaria as one of the diseases that we have to deal with in Guyana. Because some of you might have been in this area for a long time, you might think that it's a very daunting task. And indeed, it's, it's problematic, it's daunting, it's not without its challenges. But I think if we put our minds together, that we would certainly be able to eliminate malaria. Now, here is the issue. We have done a lot of studies. We know how malaria is being transmitted. We know what is transmitting the malaria, the mosquito, right? We know how people get infected. So we know all of that. And what we have to do is to, at the each, each of the appropriate part in the life cycle, we need to break the chain. So it's a simple thing. We were taught all of this in primary school, secondary school. I think everybody would have known that. But why is it that we're not using this knowledge that we have to make sure that we prevent the spread of malaria? And I think that's where the challenge lies, because what we need to do is to remind people that they have this knowledge already. What we want to do is practice what you know. 